guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing a couple of new products that I have here. Um, some of them are new launches, some of them are staple items that a brand has had for a while and um, I'm just trying them out because I've wanted to for a little bit or I want to kind of see what the big deal is because they're pretty hyped on social media and among other beauty gurus. So I've got the new Natasha Denona palette to try out for you guys and I've got some mascara, lip, we've got some new setting powder. So if you want to see that, keep on watching and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and ring the bell so that you are notified of all my upcoming videos and that you don't miss anything. Hit that like button if you like beauty videos and if you like this type of video where I try out new products. Share this video with your friends. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'm happy to do anything that you guys are interested in. So if you want to see how we achieve today's look, keep on watching and let's hop right into today's video. Okay guys, so we have the first product that we are going to try that's new for me is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Mattifying Primer. I went ahead and did my eyes first today and let's go ahead and slap this primer on. Just a little mini that I picked up to see if I would like it. Okay, it's a different texture than I thought. It's like lotion-y kind of, but we will just go ahead and prime up with that. Feels lotion-y. Okay, this feels really good. It's got a good slip to it. It doesn't feel sticky. It feels a little tacky, but not super sticky. Doesn't really have a smell. Um, we'll see how it wears under the foundation. I'm going to use some foundation that I know um, is a good performer because we're going to try some new setting powder today as well. So let's go ahead and apply our foundation. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way medium to full coverage, and I'm in the shade Nude. Okay guys, so somehow, some way, my camera shut off whenever I was showing you guys the Smashbox setting powder that I was trying out that was new. So I wanted to pop back in and show you guys the product. It wouldn't have been a big deal if it wasn't a new product for me to show you guys, but I wanted to pop back in. My face is fully done, obviously, um, but I wanted to be able to show you guys the product on camera. So this is the packaging. It looks like a... Um, camera lens. It's got like the ridges on the side. It pops open with a little button like this. And then on the inside, it's got a little mirror. And then in order to get the powder, this is a press powder. And then in order to get the powder, you just turn this little guy and it grinds some fresh powder every time. So I did use that on my face today and somehow my camera, I don't know if it overheated or um, the battery was doing something weird, but it lost all the footage of me doing this powder and my blush and bronzer. So I wanted to jump back on and show you guys the product on camera and then I'll show you guys the two face products I used. I used the Stila Tinted Moisturizer Skin Balm as my bronzer. And I'm in the shade number 7 for bronzer. And then on the cheeks, I use the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte. This is in the shade Bang Bang. And both of those are not a new product for me, but the Smashbox one was. And so I wanted to be able to show you guys that on camera. So now we will jump back into the video of me with half my face done. Okay, so I picked up a bunch of the Smashbox setting powder on this big fluffy brush. I'm going to tap out. I'm going to set around the mouth and then I'm just going to go all over the face with that same setting powder. We'll dust off our bake. Okay, so I am not really sure what is happening right now. 
but where I did my bake that setting powder like oxidized my concealer and it's like yellow and dark under my eyes so I don't know how I'm gonna fix that okay, we're just gonna go with it it's gonna be fine maybe once we get the rest of our makeup on we will be feeling a little bit better about it so I'm gonna go ahead and set the cream bronzer with some of this hula bronzer I do have a new liner to try out this one's not necessarily new a new launch but it's new to me I've never tried the Kat Von D tattoo liner this is waterproof liquid eyeliner in the shade trooper black so I'm going to use this to line my eyes and then I also have a new mascara to try out so we will try that one out on camera for you guys as well is done and um, I like it it's super black very pigmented um, I did have to close it up and shake it a couple times to get some more down into the tip um, it is like a little mini so I don't know if the full size one has that same issue um, I did feel like it could it gave me a nice precise line to work with that was just me flicking this side up and then keeping this side kind of straight and that's just on me this is the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. It is a new launch. I've never used this before. I'm doing a review video on this, so if you guys want to see that, um, I will link it up in a card. So let's go ahead and throw on some mascara. This is the Lancome Monsoor Big, and it is in the shade... Big is the new black. There's the packaging. This is not a new launch, but I've never tried this mascara before. I've kind of been on the hunt for a little bit more volumizing mascara, so we're going to give this one a try. I'm not really sure if it's doing much to my lower lashes, but let's go ahead and curl the top lashes, and then we'll see what we get with that. Okay guys, that did a pretty good job. Is it the best mascara I've ever tried in my life? No. It 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 did okay. It, it's okay. Um I picked this up during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty sale, so I think I only paid 10 either 10 or 12 dollars for it, but it's usually like 20 to 25, I can't remember. Um so I'm not mad at it. It's fine. It's the price of a drugstore uh, mascara whenever you're able to pick it up on that sale. But if I had paid $25 for this, yeah, I'd be mad. I'd be mad. Because it's not any better than any other um like drugstore mascara like the L'Oreal Infallible, um the uh, the Essence one and the Purple Tube. Those all perform just as good if not better than this. You guys know that my lashes, I have literal trash lashes. So I am so, so, so picky when it comes to mascara. Now volumizing, yeah, this probably volumized my lashes, but I would rather have a little bit more lengthening with the volume. Um, it's not bad, I'm not mad at it. Um, it's just not my favorite mascara that I've ever used. The last thing I have new to try is I have a new lip product from Buxom. This is the Hush Hush Henna. Uh, that's the shade name. And this is the Powerline Plumping Lip Liner. And so we'll line with this one. And then I also have NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. And this is in the shade Soft Spoken. So this is the Buxom Lip Liner. It's got a kind of a unique tip on it. It's like a teardrop shaped tip. And it's a twist up. Okay, I like the lip liner. I like the shape. I feel like the pointed part can really get in the edge of your lip really well. And then the round part is really nice to get around the uh, bottom portion. And then if you didn't have a cupid's bow, that nice point could um, really define a cupid's bow for you if you wanted to do that. I'm not sure how a lip liner is plumping, but 
you know, we'll go with it. Now let's use this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. That's what the applicator looks like. It's kind of a long applicator. Okay, that's looking really pretty. This is nice. It's not um, super like chunky or drying. Um, it is a cream lipstick. I'm not a huge fan of liquid lips only because I really have dry lips to begin with so liquid lip really 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 dries me out and it takes my lips a long time to recover so I tend to gravitate more towards like hydrating lipsticks, lip glosses, and cream lipsticks um, and that really helps my lips stay nice and nourished. I do do a lip scrub and a lip mask. My lips are just very very dry naturally. It's just one of those things that I deal with. Um, as an individual, everybody has their own things that they battle with with their skin, and that's just one of mine. This is the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. I've repurchased this a couple of times. This is a really, really good um, prep spray or setting spray. Okay, guys, so this is the look completed. Uh, let's run through the new products that I tried. The first one is the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. Um, this one was wonderful, beautiful. I was able to create a beautiful eye look. Um, I feel like you could use this palette in a lot of different ways and you could create something very simple or you could create something very um, intense. These are very approachable colors. They all work well together. You can blend them into each other very nicely. They're not patchy. They're not chunky. Um, they applied on the eyelid well. They held up while I was doing the rest of my makeup. There's a little bit of fallout with some of the sh um, metallic glitter shades, so I would just suggest doing your eyes first, and then you can kind of clean everything up. Doesn't really bother me, but maybe something to take in consideration. The next new product I had was this L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Mattifying Primer. This is the little mini I liked it. It was a lotion-y consistency. It wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting kind of a thicker consistency, but I used it over the whole face, and um, it didn't have a smell. It didn't um, feel weird on the face. It doesn't feel heavy or anything like that, so I did enjoy that. The setting powder I tried out was the Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder by Smashbox, and this is what it looks like. It just pops open. The packaging looks like a camera lens. And inside there's a little grater and you turn it and it grates fresh powder every time. Get a little mirror in there. Um, this is in the shade number one. I thought it was light enough and it would kind of be translucent. It was really hard to pick up out of this component with a sponge. I'm not sure if that's because this is perforated and it was hard for the sponge to grab onto anything. So I switched to a brush. It kind of wasn't working with the brush. I switched to a smaller brush and that kind of did it for me. I wanted to bake my under eyes. I ended up using my finger to pick up some and kind of pack it under my eyes. Um, I don't know if that was the best thing to do. It ended up really oxidizing my concealer and almost turning my under eye area like very yellow looking and there was a clear line of like demarcation where I had baked because it had oxidized that portion of my face makeup. My eyes are still a little bit like I can tell that they're like yellow tinged. I'm not a big fan of that. I don't know if I didn't use this powder correctly. The consistency is really nice. It's very finely milled. Has a nice slip to it. it looks like it's going to be translucent, but then like, I don't know. It turned my concealer yellow. So I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's the concealer. I'll try it a couple more times. I won't bake with it. I'll just use it to set the face. I felt like it did a good job setting the face. But um, at first impression, I don't really like it because of the way I like to use setting powders. I had a new liquid liner to try out. This one's been out for a while. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This was in the shade Trooper Black. I just have the little mini of it. Um, I did like it. It's super black, super pigmented, dried down fairly quickly, dried down fairly matte. Gave me a nice precise line. I did have to shake it a couple times during used to get more down into the tip but it could be just because this is a little mini 
Um, and just FYI, you guys, when you have liquid liners, store them upside down so that your tip stays saturated with color. The next new product I had was from Lancome. This is the Montsor Big, and this is Big is the New Black is the shade. They've had this for a while. This is one of their staple pieces. You get a big fat wand applicator. Um, I didn't really love this. I thought I would love it more because it's like really hyped by people and people really love it. I picked this up on Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty sale and it had it not been half off, I would have been really mad at its performance. I feel like there's products at the drugstore and also other luxury brands that perform better than this. Now, if you have long lashes and you're just wanting fullness, then maybe you would love that one. I personally don't have long lashes. They are a little bit thicker, but they're not long. So maybe that's just my personal preference. I would prefer something a little bit more elongated. So the last thing I had new to try out was this Buxom Powerline Plumping Lip Liner. This is in Hush Hush Hyena. Um, I really like the applicator tip on this. It's like a little teardrop shaped and I liked the pointy part to kind of get right in the corner of my lip and kind of define my cupid's bow. I have a pretty well defined cupid's bow but um, if you wanted to like define it more or overline that little um, tip is really good for that. And then the last thing we had was the NYX liquid suede cream lipstick in the shade soft spoken. This was beautiful, very creamy, dried down to kind of a velvet finish. It doesn't feel drying. It doesn't feel tightened, you know, like with um, liquid lips can sometimes make you feel that way. I'm not a big fan of liquid lips. That's just my personal preference. Most of these were a win for me, you guys. The only thing I didn't really enjoy was the Smashbox powder, and I'm kind of really disappointed because I've been wanting to try it for a while, and um, it just didn't perform the way I thought it would. Yeah, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night, wherever you guys are, and if you like this video and you want me to continue to try new products or new-to-me products, um, give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Go ahead and ring the bell to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I am doing a couple different series on my channel. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see. I'd be happy to do those for you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.